we are totally ready folks we are here at the uh, Lil airport and we're going getting in here uh, for our first uh, main adventure here going from Lille all the way to uh, Nice and then we're gonna travel to Cannes of course where the tournament will be uh, holding uh, yeah taking place and uh, we're very excited we'll be playing a Zapdos list with a little bit of uh, personal touch so uh, yeah keep you guys updated Okay, we uh, finally made it in Nice and uh, now the uh, awesome Airbnb guy Alexander will pick us up, which is very friendly of him. Uh, he's gonna pick us up and then we are gonna travel to Cannes where our Airbnb uh, apartment is. Then we're just gonna play test a couple of bits and I'll be uh, yeah, uh, vlogging soon about the tournament itself. All right, we made it. This is our Airbnb, it's huge, and uh, we are finally in Cannes. Actually, we are 100 meters off the tournament center, so right across the street. So uh, we are gonna have an awesome time here. Uh, is there a table? That is the first question I'm seeing. Oh yeah, we have a table, so we can start preparing ourselves for the tournament. I'm very excited. I'll be playing Zapdos, finally. There's a good Zapdos out, and I'll be uh, keeping in touch. Hello, good morning. We are uh, yeah, at 8 uh, a.m. right now and uh, the tournament starts at 10 o'clock. We have uh, between 8 and 9.30 to uh, actually register for the tournament. I expect a lot of Picaron, Zorok and Zapdos decks, so it'll be kind of fun because there's going to be a lot of mirrors and of course uh, uh, both Zorok and uh, Pikachu Zekrom is a uh, week to uh, actually, our week to uh, fighting, which is awesome for, of course, uh, the tech I placed in my deck. Sledgehammer! Sledgehammer! Hey, and uh, what are you guys playing today? I am playing the Ultra Malamar variant together with some special kind of uh, Pokemon adjustments in order to be able to um, effectively kill the Zapdos as well as the Peter Rome. Oh, nice. You just only have one Jirachi. <laughs> that is the unfortunate part, we're missing one card, people. We're missing one card. So, uh, what deck uh, you don't want to face against today? Valplume. Random I, I, Valplume. I think it's gonna see play. I think it's gonna get day two. Yeah, maybe. We've seen in Japan that Valplume yeah. is actually uh, succeeding because it actually is uh, very great against those basic attackers. We have, of course, Picarom, Zapdos, and of course, there's the uh, other tag teams that might pop up at tournaments. So it's very, very great that Valplume. The only thing that I don't want to face against today is the Alolan Muck variant because uh, my deck is running the Giotinas, so I'm gonna try and get a one prize deck as long as possible before pulling out my Ultra Necrozma. But if, of course, somebody is playing the Alolan Muck, I am in big trouble because I cannot actually get them back from this card pile, so that would really, really suck, so I have to face against that. So that's the only thing that I hope that I can just work around, and if it doesn't happen, it's gonna be a good day. All right, good luck. Thank you. Okay, I also don't want to face uh, some kind of weird vile plume shenanigans. Even though I have like uh, a stage one tech in my deck, it's not going to be enough uh, if they get out multiple vile plumes. Not that we have to be afraid of a, a meta full of vile plume, because a lot of people will, of course, play the popular stuff. And I also, if a little muck decides to show up, a little <laughs> grimer and ditto prism star, I'll be getting out my Wabafet and the Guzma combo in order to just get rid of that threat entirely. Okay, we have successfully entered the tournament, registered, and uh, I think uh, there's, I think I'm going to be like uh, 300 players, if not more. There are also video game attendances, and uh, the location actually is very nice. You see the palm trees over here, like the sunshine, all that good stuff. So uh, the weather is very nice. So uh, in between matches, you can always uh, 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 enter uh, like uh, the uh, outside smoking area. Not that I smoke, of course, but you have like uh, the area where you have like fresh air to just uh, empty your mind about the match you had, which is awesome.
All right, uh, round number one is done. I faced uh, Mark Costa from uh, yeah, Spain, and this was very great because he's also very familiar in the scene. Oh, he got a lot of championship points. He's a member of Guardians BCN Barcelona. That's right. Uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about how the matches went because I really attacked against Zoro Rock. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that those leads like that. The Lucario and Bossy Wall and also the Beach Ring were really a uh, surprise for me. I was planning. I was playing Zora Zora Lycan Rock in Weavile and I had a really hard time. But it was a really cool opponent, so no problem. 2 0 for him and we'll move on to the next round. And good luck for you. Thanks. Uh, enjoy the rest of your rounds and uh, yeah, maybe we will see each other again. Everything's still possible. Good luck, bye. Okay, that's the first victory of the day. Zoro Rock was actually something I expected a lot. I'm so glad I was able to pull it off. Of course, Wobbuffet was MVP, Ditto was uh, not able to evolve, and of course, the uh, Lucario scared him like hell. He just targeted real time and time again. So I uh, had a great matchup against Zoro Rock, which was uh, awesome. So uh, one win so far. All right, match number two is done. Got myself another victory. This time I was uh, up against someone who's playing Buzz Garb Shrine. Very great if you want to uh, destroy things like uh, yeah, Zoro Rock. I actually won because of Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet made sure that the Zero could not evolve into Marcargo and stuff. And then I just targeted down Trubbish and Sneasel as they came along. Also, Rainbow Energy helped a lot because that put damage on Weavile, making it sure that it has 80 H uh, HP remaining. So uh, yeah, got now two wins right now. Awesome. All right, round number three is done. Got myself another double win, so I'm at uh, three wins so far. Again, Buzz Garb Shrine, and uh, I am so glad I put in uh, Wobbuffet uh, last, last night because Wobbuffet is just so good against Ditto. They use Nest Ball, get their Oranguru and stuff, and then Ditto is there doing nothing, waiting to be a target uh, at the end of the game. So that's fantastic. I'm already at three wins, so I'm very, very good. Yeah, very glad that I put in some uh, last-minute changes. All right, uh, round number four is done. I uh, faced Nico Alabas, and uh, he played, of course, the Ultra Necrozma variant with Giratina, Jirachi, and all that good stuff. Uh, game number one actually went uh, very, very close. Tell me a little bit about game number one. Uh, game number one, you pretty much had said, but one turn you just whiffed Guzma or basically anything for a KO, so I could just make up that one turn and just catch up. Yeah, and game number two was actually like this. This was my hand. Nothing to do here. Electric power switches. Even had Jirachi, but I only got a Guzma. And then he Guzma my Jirachi, and that was game. So yeah, it was pretty fun. So I wish you uh, best of luck in the next round. You too. Yeah. Another win, another win. Pika Ram just got destroyed by Lucario. It was very fun. The first game he opened with a, a Pikachu Zekrom tag team, and then I just destroyed him with a second turn. Lucario GX using his Viridian Force. So how cool is that? Game number two, I just uh, whipped out completely, just scoops and uh, immediately went to game number three where I just did the same thing. Baby Buzz and Lucario are busted. All right, uh, round number six is done. I was up against uh, Thomas Vellas. And he was actually doing very great. It was a uh, first uh, game one. It was really intense. Uh, we both took prize cards equally. A little much showed up. It was very intense. And I actually uh, got the win thanks to Baby Buzz while taking a couple of prizes. How do you experience facing Thank like you. Zabu's Lucario Baby Buzz? Actually, today was it my uh, first matchup because I played against like three Ultra Necrozma and it was terrible. Uh, one like uh, with Carol Black. It was my only loss. But again, Zap Zapdos, I was uh, like training, testing uh, a lot because I was expecting a lot of these decks today. But it was pretty well. I was thinking I will do some better, yeah. but you were really great. Yeah, thanks. Well, Thank great you. playing against you. I also like the inclusion of your bodybuilding dumbbells <laughs> and a little night. Very great. Man. Thank you. Have a lot of fun in the next round. Thank you. You too. <laughs> So yeah, uh, in this uh, matchup we had like, of course, uh, the tie. We actually tied because it was like three minutes left on the clock and it was not uh, time. Everybody had their basics out, so yeah, it is time. Okay, so we are at four wins, one loss and one tie. Everything is still possible, but I have to like do really great. Uh, this uh, game like uh, before against Thomas, I had actually like a very brickish game where I scooped immediately and go to Grape Tree, but uh, there was not enough time left on the timer, so I have to be careful of that. That's right, I got another win. Uh, I was facing Alan, he was playing Ultra Necrozma Malamar. This time around, only got a one Jirachi, as uh, of course the playtesting suggested, and I uh, won twice. That means I'm now at five wins, one tie, and one loss. That means I'm 5 1 1. I don't know. I, do I need to win one other round? I don't know. Uh, do I tie them? We'll see. So uh, we're doing very great so far, so hopefully I'll make it to day two. It's been a while.
All right, I think uh, round number eight is done. Uh, I was up against the world champ, Robin Schultz, uh, who was playing Zebdos as well, but of course with Absol and all the tech cards like Buzzwall, Baby Buzzwall, and uh, of course, I do not not seen Night Oligo, I think. But it's in there. It's in there, okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about the matches. I, I know I, I drew terribly. <laughs> Yeah, like in the first game, basically I went first, had a good setup. You and you just moved for turn and KO. Like didn't. I think it was like two one both now, which is isn't good. And yeah, and then I like never whiffed anything. And second game, you just didn't get a supporter. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't find the support. The only thing I found with the, the Stellar Oasis was, of course, the Guzma. How, can you tell me a little bit about the mirror matches in general? What, what do you prefer? Well, uh, in your version, you always get out of Striker or...? Yeah, I mean, basically you want to get out of Striker in every match. Like, against uh, any matchup. But in the mirror, it's, it's uh, especially nice because it can also... It's a pretty good attacker. Because the 60 just cleanly want to kill the Zapdos and you don't need to retreat or... Anything. So it's good if one has an app, so and, and also Zip Striker can uh, take an escape for itself and retreat even though, even when with Absol. So it has like super. It is a, has a lot of uses in the mirror. Oh, nice! That you completely wrecked me. So <laughs> that's that. Uh, a lot of little question is that uh, haven't you seen uh, a little muck around? Because I, I do think that uh, you are not playing Wobbuffet. No, I'm not. Like, yeah, Mac is scary, but I haven't, I've not played against it today. Oh, okay, wow, you dodged him. Wow, that's a good yeah. thing. Yeah, so like, in, in Oceania, like, at the international end today, I have not played against a single Mac so far. Wow, keep up, keep up the, the good streak, and uh, good luck in day two. Thanks. All right, guys, I finally did. I uh, actually won against another Zoroark list. This time around, it was with Great Bulls and stuff. It was also nice, because I was on stream. And uh, Lucario, everybody was just watching like uh, Lucario is just doing his thing, destroying Picarom and Zorark. So I'm 6-2-1, uh, which means uh, I'm definitely in day two. So uh, the story continues. Yeah, we made it to day two. So we're going to get something to it. drink. <laughs> we're going to uh, get something to drink. Hopefully and can we can find something that's open oh. after 10 o'clock, hopefully. 